Hi, my name is Brian Doherty. Um, as you've seen in some of my other videos, um, our children were removed from us in a smash and grab raid a week before Christmas um, after we reported this paedophile, an elite paedophile ring and I contacted the two governments involved in surveillance and asked them to stop. Two days later, eight officers and five social workers turned up and what was a smash and grab raid and took our children. And as a father, it's a, it's a very difficult time, um, probably much more so for my wife, but um, she'll tell you that herself. Um, our kids are genuinely lovely and they've had a very, very difficult time. All we've tried to do is keep them safe and protected. My oldest is 13, her name's Alexandra. She's tall and sporty and such a good kid. Um, my son Sebastian is six. He's the wee disabled or autistic boy. And because he's non-verbal, these horrible paedophiles wanted their hands on him to keep themselves hidden because they are quite prominent in life. Um, Seb is great fun and just full of mischief without realising that because of his disability, he does lots of things. And uh, but he's a a fabulous little boy. Um, other daughter Charlotte is we call her Lolly, or she was called Lottie, but my son said can't say Lottie. He calls her Lolly, so we call her Lolly. And now he calls her Baby because anyone younger than him is a baby. Um, and she said to her mother that she was so sad she couldn't cry. She's five years of age. That's a five-year-old saying that. And a baby is only seventeen months. Um, who, his name's Christian, but we call him Cosmo because that was a pet name we had from when my wife was pregnant. Um, he's such a, such a fun-loving little boy, you know, he's just, he's been walking now for a while and uh, he loves his big brother and sisters and again, full of fun and mischief like a child that I should be, but devastated according to the social workers. They happily told us that the two boys are devastated. My son, Sebastian, can't cope with being in care. And the biggest problem we have is we know them very well and they don't, and they, they're not really interested in trying to help. They're just interested in discrediting us and they're not tending to his needs. Our baby was breastfed, but that didn't matter either. And he's on his own. We don't know who he's with or where he's at. And as a father, your mind races with worry. And two days before they arrived, sorry, the day before they arrived, these armed officers, social workers, without any reason, to remove our children, we just bought all our Christmas presents and get ready for Christmas like any other family. Um, and now we haven't seen them for a fortnight. And it's also corrupt. The court hearing was corrupt. The children were taken from us and went to court with no time to prepare for solicitor. And to give you an idea of how corrupt it is, the hearing started at 6.30 at night, two hours after the courthouse was closed. And the rulings were made after the judge asked the solicitor for social services what she thought. And interestingly, despite this not being discussed in court, one of the rulings were that we did remove our YouTube video entitled Police Scotland Covers Up Pedophilia. In fact, it doesn't tell you how stinkingly corrupt it is. Nothing does. I'm telling you this because this is wicked and I think it can happen to anybody if you dare try and protect your family. Thank you for watching.